Hello friends, in this series of videos in theory of computation, uh, right now we are doing with designing of DF phase and we are working on what? On mod patterns. In this video, let me go and try one more question on mod pattern, but that will be a complex one to understand. Okay. Okay friends, now let's try a different kind of a question. Here it says what? Again, design a minimal DFA or, or A comma B such that every string must accept, uh, must contain, accepted must contains odd occurrence of a substring AB. Now you understand this thing I'm saying, odd occurrence of a substring AB. So that substring AB about which we are talking must occurs in odd fashion. For example, if AB comes and then B, AB and then A, A like this. Now that is a string. How many times that substring AB comes? Here comes AB and here comes AB. But you see total occurrence how many times? Two times so it is not be accepted. For example, now you see this B, B, A and then A, B and then B. Suppose that is a string. Now see how many times the substring AB occurs? You see only one time. So that is going to be accepted. So I must design a machine where, you know, uh, every string, every string should be accepted if it contains odd occurrence of AB. So here 2, 2 is an even number unacceptable here. Only one time occurrence, one is an odd number acceptable. Okay. Now how we can design this logic again, uh, because odd and even can be also, uh, you know, can be also converted using mod method again you understand let me say this odd they are talking about so if we divide any number with 2 then you will get 1 in odd number but neither they are concentrated on the total length nor on the specific symbol but on a substring so they are saying something like this Yes or no? Somehow like this. So they say the length of, you know, or the occurrence, not on the total string, but of that substring AB. I can write like this. And uh, what is acceptable? One more two. So odd occurrence is acceptable. Okay. Again, let me decode this step by step. You know, what here I'm trying to do? I want a, you understand a general framework of methodology to design a specific kind of questions. Don't try to develop a new method for every question because whenever if a new questions come, you'll get confused. So I'm also I also what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to patch this question to the same framework. Huh? So now you understand you want odd huh? but odd and even can be done only with mod to method. So let me do this. Uh, let me see Q0 represents even as you already understand and Q1 let me say represents odd huh? and uh, let me say if AB comes I'll go to 1 and again if AB comes then I'll go to Q now, uh, again go back to Q0 so you see what happening here uh, if I'm on initial set occurrence of the substring AB is 0 that is an even number 1 acceptable 2 unacceptable, 3 acceptable. So let me make this Q1 as a final state. Huh? So now this is acceptable, this is unacceptable and here what will happen? Whenever AB comes, it count and go to, you know, remainder 1 state. If again AB comes, it will again come to remainder 0 state. But you see, I cannot have this structure because in a DFA I have already discussed the transition function delta which is what uh, from Q cross sigma I will go to Q. So at any instance you can only make a transition of one symbol but that is a substring. So this transition is not permissible but what can I do? I can just patch a new state in between. So let me say a new state Q2 and let me say a new state Q3. Now, is it allowed? Certainly it is. So if A comes, but counting is not complete because I want to remember what? A, B. So if A comes and then B comes, then the occurrence become odd. And again, if A comes and then B comes, then the occurrence become even. Now it is a perfect logic. I can work in this fashion. A, B, A, B, a, B, A, B. What is acceptable? Odd occurrence is acceptable. Again, now let's try to make this logic complete. Q not only have a transition for A. So if B comes, I can just loop around because my pattern starts with what? A. If how many times B comes, that is not a problem for me. So I can just loop over Q not. Now on Q2, it works on B. You tell me if 
मोर देन वन ए कम्स इज इट अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर एस नो बिकॉज वेन एवर बी कम्स विल गेट अवर पैटर्न ए बी सो इफ ए कम्स ऑन क्यू टू वी कैन जस्ट लूप ऑन क्यू टू सो दैट इज ओके देन दैट इज ऑल्सो ओके देन आई गो टू वॉट क्यू वन विच इज एक्सेप्टेबल अगेन इफ यू हैव कंप्लीटेड वन ए बी अगेन यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर नेक्स्ट ए बी सो इट मीन्स वॉट इवन आफ्टर बी नो मनी हाउ मेनी बी कम्स हाँ अगेन वी कैन लूप ऑन वॉट क्यू वन सो आफ्टर ए बी इफ यू गेट बी 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 दैट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम अगेन इफ ए कम्स यू कम हियर अगेन इफ आफ्टर ए हम जस्ट एनालॉगस टू दिस लॉजिक अगेन इफ ई कम्स आई कैन लूप एंड देन आई गो हियर आई थिंक नाउ द सिस्टम इज कंप्लीट ये सॉर नो तो हेर यू कैन सी दैट यू नो इफ ए एंड बी कम्स द अक्रेंस बिकम्स ऑड एंड अगेन इफ ए एंड बी कम्स द अक्रेंस बिकम्स एवन बट वेरी स्मॉल स्टिल दिज अ लिटल मिस्टेक हियर वाई यू सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी हैव अ स्ट्रिंग ए बी ए यू सी दिस स्ट्रिंग इज वैलिड और इन वैलिड अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन तो इट्स एज ऑड अक्रेंस ऑफ द सब स्ट्रिंग ए बी नाउ हेयर यू काउंट अगेन द सब स्ट्रिंग इज ऑड हाँ तो स्ट्रिंग इज ऑल्सो वैलिड बट यू सी इन अवर मशीन ए एंड देन बी एंड देन ए नाउ दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग वाई बिकॉज यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस क्यू थ्री ऑल्सो शुड बी फाइनल स्टेट वाई आई एम सींग सो देखो इफ यू अंडरस्टेड क्यू नॉट दैट इज इवन बिकॉज ए बी हैजेंट हैपन येट इफ यू आर ऑन क्यू टू स्टिल इट इज अनएक्सेप्टेबल वाई बिकॉज ए हैव अकर्ड बट द पैटर्न इज ए बी सो आई मस्ट वेट फॉर द बी इफ बी अकर्स देन यू से ओके नाउ दिस इज ऑड सिमिलरली इफ यू आर ऑन ए बी एंड यू आर ऑन क्यू वन there is odd occurrence but even if there comes a the pattern is still odd because unless and until the next b come then only you can become a even number so this a b a acceptable acceptable unless there comes b after a and then total count becomes 2 but still if you are on state q3 the pattern is still odd so that q3 must also be what final state so that is how you can solve this kind of a question where again you see uh, we are working on mod patterns uh, and we can also count the occurrence not only of a symbol but sub string some of you may also get confused that uh, you know uh, mod pattern the number of states as i told in the last video should be n so it must be 2 but here it it is 4 actually so why it has happened because we are not working on a length or on specific symbol but we are working on a specific sub string so how you can resolve this logic if the question on this kind of pattern that is you know there is a string but you want to count a specific sub string and again the question is remainder mod n so answer is what what is the length of a sub string whatever it is let me say s multiply with n so here you say length of sub string is 2 and that is also 2 2 cross 2 is what 4 so similarly that will be a pattern so if somebody ask you let me write a new question that i want to count a b b ha huh. uh, with a pattern let me say 0 mod 2 how many states will be there so length is 3 and it is 2 then 3 cross 2 total 6 states will be there so that is a kind of a different framework where you can also work on mod architecture i hope you understand the logic okay thank you